a little bit. We're here again. Y'all, I know we got some noise in the background, but uh, let us know about a sound check. I'm going to do something real quick, and I'm going to close that door. It's a generator. Okay. Living on the hook. Where, but where are we again? <laughs> That's my question always. Where, where am I? What am I doing? I got some exciting news. Maybe that generator won't be running too much more. Mm. Let me take you upstairs and show you real quick. But before we do that, it's live at 5. Y'all pop a top with us. All right, I beat you to it. <laughs> and another Cheers. good day. There was a good day. Got some work done. Relaxing day. Didn't have to travel. Woke up on the hook, and that's where we remained all day. In a good spot. Yeah. I tied it up in my boat. Washed the salt off of this and that. We're not going to have too much salt anymore. We're in uh, fresh water now. Yeah. Yeah. We did rock, pa paper, scissors the other night to see who would drink or taste the water. Who lost? Yeah, I, I lost. <laughs> Hang on. Let me show you real quick, and then we'll get going. And I can shut these doors. Show you what we did. So this, you'll be looking around while I'm going up. This is the culmination of a lot of work. Right there. I'm trying to get them, make sure y'all see them. There it is. There it is. That's the hard top with the panels on there. And then, uh, even better than that, let me show you where we are. Contiki over there. We're in this nice little alcove here. Beautiful little alcove here. All the way around. Right up here on the shore, no problem in the winter with no seams and mosquitoes. If y'all don't know what no seams are, they're terrible. I'll close these doors now. But Hey, can you take this? I just stole some, uh... You got that too? Um, two. Oh, I'm going to show them that real quick. Is that shut that? Get close up on that. <laughs> the stew is very hot. That's what we're making with I'll the... show that too before mm -hmm. we sit down. Mm -hmm. Here's the culmination. Hope y'all can see that. Icon with the solar panels there. And I'm going to do a full vid on it and show you. She's making energy though. Smiley face. That's on the uh says the battery's good. Now Zoffinger's cooking today. What we got going on down there? Uh, well, this doesn't if the river water didn't kill us, this probably won't. It's uh beef stew. Nice. Yeah, and lots of vegetables and peppers and carrots and um, all kinds of goodies in there. Very, very hot. <laughs> I've been getting in it already myself. Mm-hmm. He pre-cooked the uh, meat the other day so it didn't go bad. Yep. And uh, now we got it in the crock pot for half a while. Okay. I mean, if you can make beef stew while you're on the hook. That's why we have it. You know, I seldom make this good when I was uh, on land. Where's the range? God dang it, that fixed me thing, man. <laughs> I swear. Wow. Stand by, y'all. Four. There it goes. Now we're live. Damn, I'm going to leave it alone. Right. For some crazy reason, the Bixby thing keeps coming on for just out of the blue. So There's a lot of viruses out there. Bixby, Norton, McAfee. Oof. Those are the worst viruses to have because they just keep coming and coming and coming. It's just like those phone calls where they ask you about your car's warranty. Damn, I keep blocking them and I still get them. <laughs> I don't understand it. How do you? I don't I'm uh, got the computer coming up here. So I built Ant's quote. So uh, I guess for me today was gr it's very exciting. And y'all, we literally, I've been working on it all day and I, Zoffinger got up on the top and I got video of all that. He screwed them down for me. Although uh, I got a picture on my Facebook of me standing on top of it. He took an excellent picture. I don't know if y'all seen that. Um, yeah. It's on my Facebook under Michael Steen. Yeah, the lighting was just right. It was it, a great, great picture. It had the sun in the background and I'm silhouetted and I'm holding my hands up. Beautiful picture. I changed it on my banner uh, photo. Cool. cool. Um, yeah. But anyways, the solar panels are on and the solar panels are working. So that's a big, uh, that's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things you got to worry about is the uh, bilge pump on a boat. If the bilge pump don't work because your battery's died for whatever reason, if you're not plugged in, because they're not getting charged or you're not running and the alternators aren't charging them, 
That, that'll sink your boat. Y'all remember from good times and those that are new to the channel, if you go back and look, I was in North Carolina and got a call that good times were sinking. Mm. And um, yeah. that's when I decided to have them solar panels for sure. I think yours not were they on yet or you were working on I can tell you this. Probably. Most of my customers, I'd say 98%. My, yeah. Uh, yeah, my panels have been on for quite some time now. Okay. Anyways, I, I, I got those on. Obviously, it's good for the trip. Uh, super chat. Nice, nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah, let's see who this is. Sam Hanna for the motor, m motor fund. Damn, we didn't. <laughs> I was so busy, I did. You know, I mean, um, some people out there mentioned about uh, different ways to contribute towards that fund. And uh, the more we looked into it, uh, the more it seemed like everybody, every way to accept money from people um, required some sort of fee. Some kind larger of, than you think. Yeah, it's a larger, I mean, whether it was PayPal or anything else, I mean, there may be ways to do it better through PayPal. I think you got to finagle, but I mean, it's just like Square when it ran a business and had a point of sale, somebody swipes a card. You don't get all the money. Some of it goes towards the, the you know, and we are looking into it, but I think that's just the way it is. In the meantime, this the Super Chats do help. Uh, for all the people out there that might may say against that or uh, oh my gosh there's been uh, you know I guess when you put yourself out there there's going to be a lot of naysayers no matter what but okay. it doesn't take anything away as far as I'm concerned uh, from the generosity that we've seen from people so uh, take a check sure does I'm sure he's got a he got P.O. box for that right right yeah um, you want to say it and I'll put it in the comments about uh, the, somebody said do you take a check um, or do you want to do that I wouldn't even know which address to send it to, other than my old uh, work address. You know that um, if you looked up Zoffinger's oh, LLC, you know, right? It, um, it was yeah. I mean, I can get a PO box, but it's just the same. Um, I have. I, it's just things have been so nuts. Thank you again. There's another one, man. Um, uh, I just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> you know, I feel so lucky to be able to be on this trip as it is between uh, Pelican Kayaks sponsoring me and uh, YouTube and the money I make sharing my adventure and um, yeah I'm hard pressed to uh, to ask for anything more than that however I mean <laughs> if things keep going the way they they're going um, I'm, I'm not you know I mentioned naysayers that there's so many folks out there that uh, had issues with um, you know what happened to my boat it's just you know you got you got to keep on pressing on and if people out there learn from my mistake it's it's a good thing and I know the natural inclination when anybody screws up is to sweep it under the rug don't let anybody see it and then anybody see me do that oh my god I hope not you know because you realize you screwed up well I mean my job when I screw up is to take the camera and say I screwed over <laughs> I'm an idiot um, it's hard to do. It's really, really hard to do. It would be easy to not show that part, the hard part of what we're doing. But the, the, the harsh reality, I don't care if you have a brand new boat or if you have a boat that's 40 years old. It, they all break and you got to know how to deal with it. And I'd rather learn how to deal with it, even if it costs me, you know, some mistakes. Uh, Jeff Vaughn, thank you, buddy. Uh, says we're living the dream. Marty, you got a good outlook on all that has happened in life in general. More yeah. for your motor fund. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. It's just about rolling with the punches, you know. Steve also said, uh, hey, from uh, St. James City. Nice. What's up, buddy? We're not going to get too far away from y'all. Look, we get, we're get working on that today. Um, we pretty much got the marina lined up now where we're going to haul out. Yeah. We talked to some places that uh, provide motors. <clears throat> we 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 have. Um, it's um, that's a okay. Yep. Yeah, but um, some of the uh, uh, I don't. And we just got to make sure that we get um, a decent motor from uh, a reputable place instead yeah. of you know. It it would be hard. A lot of people say, well, we stand by our work. So if we put it in and it fails, bring it back to us, and then we'll. Well, <laughs> it's like that. I don't want that. Yeah. I'd rather get something that I know runs. Here's a challenge that we're up against on the motors. I, the, the motors that are in good time sitting below us, um, they came from a place in Fort Lauderdale. 
the guy did obviously great work. I've been on them five, six years now. They did, they were just what he said, whatever, whatever. But then when we stopped in St. James City, as fate would have it, um, one of the guys there that let us borrow his dock, he knew this guy. He knew the company I was talking about. And he said that that company has gone to pot. He said the guy's on drugs, whatever, whatever. And, um, but yeah. I well, mean, we don't know some, for sure. Some of the reviews from this year weren't that uh, nice either. But you don't know. You don't know. Maybe the guy had a bad experience, or um, it's hard to it's hard to tell. So we, I, just, I want to make sure that you know if we, we're going to do this, let's just do it once. Yeah. We so there'll be a few more days. We're waiting on people to call us back so we can get the motor amounts. Because um, now I'm personally nervous about the guy that I knew. I just don't know. We don't know yet. We'll we'll figure it out. But yeah, we'll probably wind up driving down there and actually seeing. Putting eyes on the, him. Yeah, yeah. Looking at the location, the shop. Uh, that should be a good indication whether it's a mess or whether it's clean. And, and I did that before. That because like y'all don't know the story, but I put my first motor I put in here locally from Tampa. They screwed it up. It run a year. Yep. Like you hear all these horror stories, but I I think that was because it was an auto shop. And these are marine engines. There are differences. And uh, this guy, back when I checked on him, he, you know, he's turning out, you know, ten a week. <laughs> and um, yeah. you know, if they're turning out that many, they got to be doing good. Well, so, the, the guy that we spoke to today, uh, with the questionable reputation, also said that he's doing a lot of motors. Said he what a hundred? Um, what is it? I don't know. He did a thousand a year or something like yeah. that, or whatever it is. Crazy amount, but or well, more than that, I don't know. We got to verify that he still, yeah. it is what yeah. it is. That's underway. With the short story, uh, long story short, is uh, it, things are progressing. It looks like I'll be doing a motor swap. I started thinking to myself, you know, the thing is running right now, but I prob it's probably been damaged beyond uh, something I want to really uh, work on. So, um, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the hard part. Cap Captain Thurman Kennedy said, Cruising is fixing your boat in an exotic place, is boy, yeah, not the truth. Yes. So here we are on the hook. Yeah. Doing solar panels up on the roof and and you know yep. doing improvements. Yeah. Marty was way ahead of me on the improvements, but I knew we'd have time. But yeah. Yeah, and then stopping and. Yeah, I was on my boat today. You know, crawling around and unbolting and screwing and uh, thing <laughs> and uh, fixing wires and. Um, it was. That's, that's I gotta tell continue. you, it was ple It was pleasurable. Like, it was such a beautiful. Ah. Uh, view. Oh, the temperature though. The oh temperature. yeah, yeah. Oh, what are we? I bet this place would be different when it's 98 degrees and yeah. there's bugs all over us. Yeah, we'd be getting out of here. We'd be looking for the <laughs> open air. But you know what? That's going to be part of the thing too. You know what? There's going to be naysayers that say, "Oh, you're an idiot for being out there and getting eaten by mosquitoes." Good for you, you idiots. How bad? I know we're idiots sometimes, <laughs> but we're also brave and courageous and uh, adventurous, and you know. There's, there's goods and bads with boating. What, what you're seeing happening to my boat right now is the bad. And I wouldn't want to paint a picture that is false in, in saying that everything is beautiful sunshines and frolicking with the dogs in the sand. It's not all that. But there are moments like that. You go see some of it. Sure. Yeah, I just posted some of that today on my channel. Nathan said, uh, can it be rebuilt possibly instead of replacing it? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Um, here's the problem you're up against with that, Nathan, is time. It costs money to set on the hard, mm -hmm. so the time that you would pull that engine, go try to take it to a shop and all that, you, you really, in this business, like in marine in industry, you need to be able to go pick it up, come back, put it in, because you're losing a lot of money setting yeah, on the hard. Sure, and, and I'll, the caveat to that is that there are mechanics out there I mean, heck, if you're any NASCAR fans out there, you know, they pull in, burp, 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 and bang, off, off they go, and it's just that easy, if you know what you're doing. And I may be a lot of things, but I would never really paint myself as a mechanic. I'm mechanical, I know how to fix things, I know how to jerry-rig things, uh, but the uh, the consequences for jerry-rigging, it's one of the things I guess I'm uh, dealing with right now. Uh, but the motors were old, and I questioned them before that oil line ever popped off. It would be very reassuring to have something brand new, and you unbolt the old one and you bolt the new one in. I'm very good at that. Uh, but diagnosing and um, 
motors. And I, you know, I don't know, and I don't have a torque wrench. I don't own one. Um, I don't want to get into anything that's that complicated. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather just pop one. Just in. a peripheral, the outside sure. stuff. Yeah. Give me, give me running motors. I'll drive the heck out of the boat. But um, yeah, he asked me to uh, redo the heads, and uh, I could probably do it. But like you said, I'd, I'd rather be cruising and. I, I've saved enough, so hopefully I can I can fit this build. Plus, the the super chats and the people helping me um, with the engine fund are, are making that a lot more doable. Jay so, Hen, thank you. But let's see, uh, if I could be good for you to do a video on your trip plan each day, weather, tides, and such. Your mm -hmm. resource, thanks in advance. Yes. Thank you, Jay. Um, I'll. Uh, um, I'll be honest with you, I've been trying to play catch up. So I'm trying to do stuff on the boat, sure. literally on the fly, but I am getting there. Yeah. I'll start turning out my videos as well. We kind of been doing, Marty's doing videos, I'm doing this and other things that are off camera. It's working out pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're going to bed exhausted every night. That's yeah, for sure. yeah, that's, that's yeah. And there's nobody to do editing for us. We're, we're a one, one person show. But I, uh, I do appreciate that. And um, just as a reminder, on uh, michaeljstein.com, y'all search that. I'm doing a blog, good gracious, I'll come back to it. I'm doing a blog about where we are, and then you can see a map, so if y'all wanna go look at that. Dang Ryan Young, good luck from Louisville, Kentucky, from fellow first responder, all my, all right. Sweet. Ryan, what, tell me what it, what your job was. Um, for you both, oh yeah, Ryan uh, purchased some stuff from our website. We both sell nice. t-shirts and you. all and yeah. um yeah mine are running out i actually <laughs> have an idea to... about getting money that way okay. about doing a uh like a shirt okay but but just a just a we may have that figured out i thought yeah. about last night to be honest we didn't have time to talk about that today although we we've did been, talk we've about been too busy but well, let me just add um we'll, we'll talk about the shirts but meantime um as far as cruising and the little things that we do know I mean, I could talk to you about how to properly put an oil line for a remote oil filter <laughs> on, but you don't want to hear me tell you how to do that. One, some things I can tell you how to do is that when you're anchored, you know, to be sure that you're not drifting or something like that. You know, um, I mentioned it in a coming video, and it's anybody out there is thinking about cruising or spending a night on the water, relying on your your anchor, is going to really benefit from knowing this. And then there's going to be, I mean, over the course of the next couple of years, we're going to be searching for things to tell you about. And if you follow us along, you'll learn and be more prepared for the time, if ever, you decide to go out and Good do this. Good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just trying to get yeah. through. And it's not, not just boat life either. If anybody's yeah. thinking about getting a van and traveling and seeing the country and living in an RV, it's very, very similar. You're in a small space and you need to provide everything, your water, your electricity, navigation. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're, it's a little easier perhaps on land. I don't know. Lot, I haven't done it, so I, I'm hard pressed to say that. But. A lot of people are asking are coming like through different areas. Again, that website will show you, but mm -hmm. I'll tell you the Mississippi, Tennessee, Tom part and all that, that's in 2022. So just be aware that's in two years basically from now. When we turn and come down south, reference to that, uh, I missed your name, but some someone said you're not going to get a mile a gallon uh in the tennessee town because of the uh the flow so we'll be going up river yeah so i get that that's for sure well we're, honestly we're, we're kind of going against the flow now aren't we the yeah. closer we get to okeechobee yeah see there was a super chat oh my see. gosh ken ken oh my gosh that boy damn appreciate that buddy damn mm. Ken, uh, Ken Bahrain is one of our best, no question about it. He's coming on the boat very soon. So y'all will see uh, some of the opportunities uh, to come ride and enjoy, you know, there's gonna be some opportunities there, but thank you so much. Oh my gosh. You know, what's wafting up here right now is the smell from dinner. That crock pot is belching out these awesome smells every once in a while. Ken, did you mean to hit that button twice? Oh, okay. Wow, thank you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Randy said, make sure your bilge pumps uh, are working on both. No doubt about that, they are. We discussed that today, actually. Multiple bilge pumps and... Um, For multiple batteries. Yes. 
So different one, one charging died. sources. One, I had um, I start. Uh, oh my gosh, Contiki. Contiki has been uh, driving me absolutely nuts. One of the things that uh, went bad uh, in the past couple of days that you guys don't know about is I have redundant systems. I've got solar panels up top, solar panels down below. The solar panels up top work that those batteries. The solar panels down below work those batteries. They're separate, completely separate. Well, the ones downstairs all of a sudden weren't charging anymore. So um, I had to get down there and um, check the charge controller, and there were loose wires. Goodness knows. You know what? I, I, I'm not going to take credit for that one or the blame because the the uh, terminals are not so good on the charge controller that I bought. I named names, but shame on you, whoever the manufacturer is, because I couldn't for the life of me, I remember, get a, a good solid connection on those wires. So they were a little loosey-goosey. One of them came a little bit free, no big deal. Put it back on, started charging again. Thank goodness, because that runs my refrigerator and everything else. The reason I'm bringing this up, though, is because that runs a bilge pump. And I've got a different battery bank that runs a different bilge pump. And these redundancies are very important. If it weren't for a redundant engine, I wouldn't be still underway. So yep. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss those things over time. Here's a good question, but we don't have to answer yet. Uh, are you replacing one engine or both? Mm. Uh. <laughs> Everything I've done on the boat has been twice. Because there's, it's so, there's, there's two gas tanks, there's two engines, there's two transmissions, there's two propellers, there's two, you know, when I change the zincs, I got two zincs that go on the rudders, and I've got two zincs that go on the propeller shafts. Uh, hmm. Oh, man. That's a good question. I would, would I like to? Sure. Definitely um, entertained it. Is it, is it realistic? be honest with you, when we throw you some numbers out here, y'all, and everybody has been helping so much, it, it'd have to be if you could raise the money. And, and we're thinking of some... Maybe. People have been yeah, extremely generous. They have been. It's been crazy. You know? And I, I had a little bit in my uh, my slush fund there to help. But, and, you know, and with um, the generosity I'm seeing from folks, and I haven't even reached out on my own channel and asked anybody for anything because I don't know what I'm, what I'm asking for. I, 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 don't, I got a problem with that. I, you know, I don't want anybody to have any uh, anything to say about me about you know trying to get over on you, the viewers. My priority is um, entertainment and providing an escape for people. If I do that, great. I think I'm doing a good job at it. And then, you know, when if if when the time's right uh, to ask for help, I will ask for it. And yeah. people have been helping with, without me asking. So. Yeah. I, let, yeah, let me keep it at that for now. And yeah. when I'm ready, maybe, you know, after the, the, the task is done, we'll help to replenish. And that money, instead of going to the motors, can go to gasoline or marinas or, you know, psych, uh, psychology uh, therapy <laughs> sessions <laughs> or whatever else I may need. Here's one. <laughs> uh, Marty, can you explain the solar panels on your boat and how it works? Mike, do you have a built-in mm -hmm. generator or one on the back deck? Um, I'll answer mine real quick. That's what you hear running on the back deck. Yep. We uh, have plans to put it down below our A generator. But then again, Marty put his down below and he's been having some problems with heat. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. kind of up in, in air, to be honest with you, we don't know. Yeah, it's, you know. Um, we'll see, you'll know when we do it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a very stubborn type, you know, whereas uh, there are certain things you're supposed to do, certain things you're not supposed to do. There's, um, that's the name of Contiki. You know, if you guys haven't looked up the uh, the Contiki expedition, those gentlemen that crossed the the ocean on a raft with no motors, everybody told them that they were going to die if they tried it. All the experts. They were, could you imagine if they had a Facebook page back then? Everybody would say, <laughs> "You're a moron! What's wrong with you?" Yeah. And yet they um, they were successful, uh, and they uh, they became legend as a as a result. I'm not necessarily looking to be a legend. I'm just trying to do the loop. Other people have done it. I'm trying to be one of many. Um, but, you know, I, I was never going to be ready. Never, never, never. So, you know, here, we, here we go. I wasn't I ready. Care. No. I was, I'm still working on stuff on the hook. Yes. 
Raise a beer to you, Joe. There. Brew after a good long day, no doubt about it. Mm. A lot of good questions here, guys. I, I'm trying to get to a lot of them. A lot of, um, let's see. Um, is the marina hauling out going to let you do the work? We'll do a like a lightning on some of these. Yes, that's what we, there are. Most marinas will not let you do it, mm -hmm. but just the ones we've reached out to, yes. Here's a good one. Do you have actual transmissions or something more like a reduction gear? No, nope, they're actual transmissions. That brings a good point. We're probably, you're going to have some downtime here. Maybe a video explaining all that. So that, that's a good one. If not, maybe we'll try to turn something out like yeah. that. Because I know, I imagine a lot of y'all don't understand what's under us. Like we're sitting on the motors in this boat. Mm -hmm. This boat's a little different, but. Yeah. Um, well, it's it, it's the drivetrain is the same. Yeah. It's everything that sits on top of it varies from his boat to my boat. Yeah. But essentially there's three types. You've got ones where the motor is inside the boat and the transmission's inside the boat and the propeller shaft goes through the hull and on the outside there's just a propeller and a rudder and that's it. That's an inboard. Then you have the inboard outboard, which is like half and half. You got the motor inside and the transmission's on the outside of the boat, as far as I know. It's a sim very simplistic way of putting it. And then you have an outboard where everything, the motor, the transmission, everything is just sitting on the transom. That's typically on small boats. And um, there's many, many variations. You've got small boats with inboards. You've got large boards, uh, boats with outboards. So it's, that's a very difficult thing and uh, a long-winded answer. Um, no matter how you put it, for explaining engines, I don't, I don't know if I'm we'll try to do that. I, I mean, I, I got so much to do, but yeah, but some I, things really are not are not my place to explain either, because yeah. you know, as we learn stuff, uh, of course, we pass it along to you. One of the things I learned very recently was a uh, hack for a uh, thermocell. You guys know what a thermocell is? You, you know, they put the little pad in, and a, a little butane container heats up the pad and the, the, the smoke that comes out makes mosquitoes go away. Those are going to come in very, very handy, but they're very expensive. And I just realized a way to uh, do that on the cheap. So uh, when I learn stuff like that, that's so cool, so 100% accurate. This is it. It works. You can do it. I will share that with you. When it comes to how boats work, <laughs> oh, man, I got to go to school first maybe before I uh, teach you. I got to teach Here. myself first. Here's one. Bill Jr. said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Replace one and save the money. God forbid the other motor goes at a later time. Good point. Yeah. Good point. I'm learning how to drive with one motor right That's now. That's right. He, how many miles were you like? Yeah. She did well. Contiki did good on like 100 yes. miles on one engine. So yeah, there was, there was maybe one or two instances where I felt powerless because I didn't have enough water going over the rudder and I couldn't steer it. I couldn't pivot the boat because I only had one motor. And where I would have otherwise, Other, you know, I've been sliding into places and letting the wind and the current do what they do um, most of the time now because I only got one motor. A lot of boaters have only one motor. That's all they do. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's centered, and these boats are lighter, you know, by comparison to the rudder size. And so it's a little more difficult for me, but it's doable. Uh, Trampster, did you mention engines in a chat? few days ago yeah we kind of just said that but it's probably I don't know my opinion is a little bit too much of an undertaking right now to do too yeah and, and that other one is running so solid I, I'm like that well yeah you know it's, it's doing good I, yeah I, I will not they say it yeah but anyways we don't know we'll see about that let's mm -hmm. see uh, yeah they are 350s I'm trying to answer some of these quickly 350 Merc cruisers Um, I did say to myself a long time ago, because I replaced the motors and transmissions once, five years ago, yeah. and um, they were used, and uh, they did their job. Um, I feel like that one went a little bit prematurely. However, uh, I, I thought to myself, if they ever die, I'm just going to put, you know, three out, three five horse outboards on the back of the motor. <laughs> maybe not five horse. Maybe I put three fifteen <laughs> horses. <laughs> and just do something really crazy, but this is not the time and place to be doing that. No, I'll just put another inboard, get through the loop, and uh, the poor old Chris Craft. I mean, I've done enough to work without turning her in, into a, a complete Frankenstein. So maybe right. I'll just be nice and just put another 350 in it. 
Ryan was asking where he thinks we'll Three be. Three jet engines, I see that. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's asking where he thinks we'll be in January, but we're, be honest with you, we're at Hopefully least two Long weeks. Island. Yeah. Uh, you, haven't. <laughs> you don't think by January? January. Oh, well. End of this month. Well, that's where the boats will be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking about January 20. Oh, wait, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. No, no, no. no we, we're probably two weeks down. We're not, you know, we really didn't actually say that. We're probably in this area for two weeks, and we talked about definitely now we can call out. We'll let you know in a few days. Uh, meet up here because we know we're going to be here for a while. Mm. So, so for those that are in the area, we'll give you plenty of notice. It'll be on a weekend, probably at that same restaurant that is literally just around the corner from us. Yeah, nice. So, um, somebody's asking about are you attempting to convert the diesel? I don't. That's pretty major deal yep i when, mean if, if if i don't know anything about gasoline engines yeah. which is arguable uh i definitely don't know anything about diesel so. i don't either I, although i want to learn but sure um I, I know diesel fuel is very cheap on the water you just got to imagine that changing something midstream it would slow us down so bad we can conceivably get this engine problem solved in a couple three weeks be back underway and uh, I've always thought to myself, you know, you got so many different things that you need to learn and, and obstacles to get over uh, to add to that by changing the types of propulsion would be, it's just too much. Let's, you know, let's put out the fires that are on, that are here right now, maybe in the future. Um, actually, I'm looking beyond that, but instead of repowering, which is a, a major deal, uh, I would rather get a different boat. I love that boat but it's uh, limited in its size. If I'm gonna continue, Alex, did you just super chat? Alex, fit or Bulgara? Yeah. Oh man, did I say it right, Alex? <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, uh, uh, Alex has got a uh, YouTube channel too. Um, um, he's, a, he's a kayaking fool, man, just like me. Nice, thank you, Brett. Um, mm -hmm. Happy hours said, uh, Diesel fuel up there is more expensive, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Down here, it's like cheaper on the water than it is, or about the same price as it is on land. It's just weird. So we've, we've, uh, I'm, I actually fuel, we stopped when we were in, uh, every, I mean, uh, St. James. James City. We topped off, so we actually got a lot of fuel. We just need to yeah. get underway. And where we're going to haul out some. I need an engine to burn it. <laughs> we're about 20 miles east of where we are. But this is such a nice area and mm -hmm. this anchorage is so good we're just going to hang out here until we're ready because up there the river is very narrow and you got boats passing by you mm -hmm. and all that yeah 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 that's that's going to be uh <laughs> nice. Hira. Hira. yeah so um one of the um one of the challenges i thought it was going to be single handing a lock and uh now i have to single hand a lock on a single engine and film <laughs> and keep the dogs from flying around you know oh my gosh that'll be fun it'll be exciting yeah should but, make for some good videos yeah 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 we, we've discussed the logistics on how to do that um i think that's one of the things that we're really good at is um envisioning how to overcome these obstacles as they as they're thrown at us even the, the simple ones like getting through a lock but it's not simple because i'm doing it by myself and it's not simple because I only have one motor. And it's not simple because I want to film the whole thing at the same time. And it's not simple because how am I going to hold on by myself? Am I going to do it from the bridge? Am I going to do it from down below? Am I going to do it from up front? Uh, I will figure it out. I will. I will. I will. I will. And it may, uh, I'm, I might get a blood blister or I might smash my hand or I might, you know, smash my boat or screw up again. And there'll be people wagging their fingers at me. And I'll say, you're right, but... I will get through it. Jay uh, Gutierrez, thank you, buddy. That's a nice one. Yeah. Uh, super chat. Thank Hope you, me and my son can take up an adventure like yours, and maybe not as far as yours, but we'll enjoy it a lot. So. Yeah, we, somebody mentioned earlier about things about boats, and here's a challenge to people who already have boats, like a little cutting cabin or something, or a boat capable of taking you out and overnighting. I remember it was a goal for me for a long time, even with a 31-foot boat. It was still a goal uh, uh, to go out and spend the night on the hook. And it took a lot to lead up to that. 
and part of the things that I had to um, gather was courage, <laughs> you know. And but the first night it happened was magical. I didn't know about uh, anchor alarms and this and that, so I was I was real sketched out that night. But I did it, and I woke up in the morning after just a few hours of sleep uh, with this sense of euphoria of an accomplishment. I did it, man. And it was a little bit cool, and, and there was the water was calm, and there was nobody out there earlier in the morning, just me. And it was wonderful. And uh, I would like to encourage people to do that who have never done it. And that's kind of simple, uh, well, from my perspective right now, because we're living on the hook every single night, uh, and plan to do so for a long, long time. I know you can do it. I know, and maybe th and th there's so many different things that you might be trying to attempt that you're afraid to do. If I can encourage people to go out there and follow their dreams, then uh, it's worth every screw up that I ever do. I'm starting to sound a little uh, like I'm from New York. Getting ready. When I go back, hey, how you doing, my friends? Hey, forget about it, man. I've been gone. I'm living in Florida. Ken Berain asked, uh, <laughs> "How's it going on the Mug Club Coffee Cups? They're uh, they're on the website. Um, the live at fives have taken over the mornings, but." Once we, you realize, trying to get everything settled in, but we're going to do, for those that want to go on michaeljstein.com and buy a mug club, I'm going to actually, but this is only for the mug club members, you buy a coffee mug, and in the mornings before we set off, I'm going to do a live chat just to say, uh, you know, where we are. It'll be specific to those people. So if you want to join, uh, now's a good time to do it, and uh, that'll, but that will be exclusive for those people. And it's, that's for covering fuel and stuff for my boat, stuff that, that you know, these trips can be uh, quite expensive. But it, it, it is there. I just haven't transitioned to that. But I'm, we're doing, I'm doing so much work on the boat, and I have done a lot of work on the boat. And, you know, like a couple of years ago, Mike and I uh, decided to go and get in our captain's licenses. And um, it takes some outfitting. You've got to have certain equipment on board if you're going to run charters and take money for people to be on your boat and we've uh, we did that a long time ago in anticipation of something like this where you give a reward to somebody where you allow them on board uh, for a leg of the journey we drop them off at some point and their family uh, can come pick them up or whatever that's coming yeah that kind Ken of Burain thing will be the first one on on board here very soon nice um, yeah you know Marty said it and uh, and there was a question on here about would love to tag along. If you got a boat and you want to come hang and, and tag along, even if you're just doing a, a section of it, a, you know, a little portion overnight with us or whatever, and we anchor up, you're welcome to tag along and yep. get out there and um, we'll be there to help if something happens. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe that's part of what we're trying to do is show you it's very doable. And uh, and then maybe you get a sense of the things that you don't see on camera. Yeah. Because when we oh man I got a hammock on board and I've been itching to set that thing up and just sit in the hammock and do nothing and every time I sit still I'm like oh wait I gotta do that I gotta yeah. do that. you yeah, know every, nothing, every five yeah. minutes it's like uh, yeah. you know what I gotta I gotta clean this and I gotta wash that and I gotta stow that and I got mm, you know um, we're getting there yeah we're getting uh, there but if you were to come on board you will get a sense of that because yeah. uh, even uh, our friend uh, new friend Steve who allowed us to go, uh, tie up to his dock witnessed it a little bit because it wasn't all like at some point I, I had to say um, excuse me I, I I can't just sit here and talk I got I got things are not really on fire but I have got fires to put out <laughs> like you know um, I got to figure out why the engine's not cranking and I had a battery that was dying could have been that solar issue um, there was you know there's always something going on uh, so uh, but nonetheless I still, you know, that being said, we can allow people to come on board as long as they understand. You know, you're not, you're not going to get our total attention, perhaps. So um, I'm, I'm apologizing in advance for all the people that come aboard and uh, have to just sit there in the corner for a second while I do my captain's thing. Ken uh, uh, said uh, he'll help Marty film better and do his thing while I volunteer, while he volunteers. So that's good, Marty. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that you know, when people come aboard, yeah, uh, you know, I might, I might tell them, look, uh, take the wheel. That's and right. I'm gonna go down below, and uh, that's times to do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, when things, you know, or uh, we're coming up to a dock, grab a line and do this and that, you know. It's fun. Yeah, it I is. I love when, when I'm on it board is. somebody's boat, I, I'll gladly accept uh, tasks like that in orders, you know. All right, how's, guys. How's our time? We're getting along? Yeah, we're about, we're about there and we haven't ate yet. Um, we're going to wrap it stew up. tonight. That's some, uh, uh, my, our producer, my friend, <laughs> who was answering questions yesterday, said that there was, uh, I can be a ghost, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, um, he said that a lot of times people at the end they'll ask what's for dinner there is that it right there what's for dinner boom <laughs> there's another one what's for dinner you look back in the early in this video I, yes. we showed the stew yeah beef, hearty, beef stew beef is, stew uh, for dinner tonight a nice hearty meal we made a, a good amount of it and, I got uh, let me let me finish out I gotta tell you that uh, so I'm getting ready to go off good times Marty's gonna watch will be on anchor he'll he'll stay with the boat it's good for him he gets to turn out a lot more videos yeah, and i gotta hang out on a boat for a week <laughs> i got a i got stuff to do i got work to do but we're kind of it's kind of worked out you know we're getting ready for the motors and we'll be doing all the research on all that so the uh, after tomorrow i don't uh won't be alive at five um every day right? every yeah. day yeah. we'll give updates but it won't be alive at five I try to. I'm gonna to try to save them mostly for the boats when we're actually on the boat. But um, I'm gonna be off for a couple of weeks probably. Yeah. Uh, not actually a full couple of weeks because I'll come back on the weekends. But there's I, a lot of channels out there that'll do something maybe once a week. So yeah. um, we've been really kind of uh, yeah, hustling, we've, hustling here. I think. Yeah, trying to get you information. Yep. So uh, let me show you something here. Now we're in a different place. It's kind of really funny that. This uh, spot looks very similar to where we were last night. Let me just turn this around. <laughs> See if I can turn that around. Yeah, there we go. Y'all look at that. It's so nice out. All right, here it comes. Like right there. See that right there? There's a there's a bend right there. I wonder what's around that bend, Marty. I know what's around the bend. I know what's going to be. It's going to be what? It's going to be a good time. We'll see y'all later.